gozaimasu, konnichiwa, konbangwa, for whenever you're listening to the Joshi Pod, your weekly podcast about the world of Japanese women's wrestling, Joshi Wrestling. I am your host, Eric Howard, coming to you from beautiful Tokyo, Japan. That's right, not in San Diego this week, not self-quarantining in San Diego. I'm in the Japan bubble here. Um, things seem pretty normal here in Japan, but uh, yeah, I'm in my tiny hotel room right now in Tokyo, Japan, podcasting away. Feel for you guys that are back in uh, wherever you're at, being uh, forced to, to quarantine yourselves. I will be back in that life uh, tomorrow when I fly back to California. But uh, for now, I'm going to enjoy my final night here in Tokyo. And part of enjoying my final night is doing a podcast for you guys that I promised. I promised you guys a lot of content, but I haven't produced. I apologize for that. I've been having a little too much fun. Been some doing some networking and uh, got some interviews in uh, as well while I've been over here. Uh, I talked to five different women from Gato Move yesterday. Uh, I'm going to release those a little bit over time. Um, not all back to back to back. Uh, not sure who the guest is going to be on the show this week because there's a Twitter poll going on and it'll be done by the time you guys hear this. But I chose four of the women from Gato Move for you guys to select from. And we'll hear at the end and you'll see in the uh, the notes as well. Um, or the title, I'm, I'm sorry, would... Uh, who actually won the poll and who is the guest on this week's show. So what have I done while I've been in Japan? Um, I spent an hour and a half riding around Tokyo with Fumi Saito. We decided at the last second to record it, so I tried to record it on my iPhone. And I was able to only pull 30 of the 90 minutes off my phone. The recording shows 90 minutes. The playback is only it's like stopping like a... 30 minutes. So it's driving me crazy. So I'm working with Apple. I'm working uh, with other people that know this kind of stuff better than I on uh, how to be able to pull that audio is such a unique experience. Fumi taking me around town and showing me some old uh, wrestling landmarks. Uh, he stopped where the all old, uh, all Japan women's dojo used to be at. Uh, it's now a parking lot, but he kind of wanted to stop and show me where it was at. Uh, jumped out of Ribera Steakhouse and took a picture in front of it. And we also went to the New Japan dojo. We snuck out and I jumped out and took a picture in front of that as well. I couldn't tell you where that New Japan dojo was at to save my life. Uh, it's like in the middle of some neighborhood. And uh, yeah, there's 0% chance if uh, my life depended on it that I could find it. Also went to uh, a few shows while I'm here. I Ice Ribbon, uh, YMZ, and two Gato Move shows. One at Itabashi and one at Ichikaya Chocolate Square. And uh, in the show reviews this week, I'll go over the highlights of each of the shows and who stood out, I think, in my eyes at the shows I went to. I also went to a seedling show too. I forgot about that. Yes, I went to a seedling show as well at uh, Shinkiba for a string. Um, I got to hang out with Tekla a little bit at that show. Uh, got to see her at Ice Ribbon as well, but uh, we got to chit chat a little bit. She was fun to, to hang out with and chat with and uh, catch up with. Um, go back and listen to her episode. Um, she's sticking around Japan for a little while longer because of the uh, whole coronavirus mess in Austria. So uh, she's extending her tour with Ice Ribbon um, and, uh, yeah, we'll go over some of the shows that I attended to. Uh, I attended this week, and uh, we'll uh, chat those up a little bit. But again, in our big main event interview, it's somebody from Gato Move. It's looking like it's either going to be Emmy Sakura or Lulu Pencil, one of the two. When I interviewed Lulu, she told me she listened to my podcast, which blew my mind. Uh, she says I'm a good interviewer. She says she's she's a, a critic of interview you interviewers since she's a journalist, and she says I'm a good interviewer. So I'll take that. Uh, a uh, wonderful distinction from Lulu Pencil uh, meant a lot. It meant a lot for them actually to spend the time with me to uh, to chat with me. They don't they don't owe me anything. They don't uh, owe anybody anything. But uh, they uh, yeah took the time and, and sat down and, and chatted with me. What else did I do while I was here? Oh 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 oh. I interviewed Bull Nakano. So guys, you know if you've listened to my podcast how important uh, or how special Bull is to me, and um, I got to meet her. We we sat down. We met at a karaoke bar in Shinjuku. Uh, the interpreter and I got there a little bit earlier. We kind of set up everything, and then Bull walked in the room, and uh, the aura that Akane Fujita talked about that Bull Nakano has, it was absolutely there. Uh, I was uh, smitten from the second she walked in the door. Um, she could tell how much I was enjoying the the whole I I experience of, of sitting with her and, and chatting with her. Um, so we, we chatted for about an hour and a half on a tape and or 
digital recording, whatever you guys want to call it. I'm an old man, so I say tape. So we taped it an hour and a half, and I'm probably going to split that into two parts. But uh, after it was over, she stuck around for another hour and just hung out and chit-chatted with us. So uh, again, I think uh, she appreciated the fact that uh, I was a, a big fan of hers and that uh, it meant a lot to me to to see her and spend some time with her. So I'll forever be grateful to, uh, to Bull about that. And she goes into some pretty uh, personal things in our conversation as well. And uh, you guys are really going to enjoy the, the, the conversation with that. Um, I was going to planning on releasing it this week, but she's a very light talker. So I'm having to work on uh, the audio quality of it. It's all there. I just got to work on her, her portion of it to uh, amplify it a little bit so you can hear her responses. But uh, yeah, it's a real fun conversation. It was, again, any, more than I could have asked for or, or you know, I, I can't complain at, at all. Um, she was wonderful and, uh, she has some Joshi pod t-shirts, so I'm pretty proud of that. And, uh, she liked them. So, uh, thank you, Nolan from quiet white designs. Uh, hopefully someday we'll see, um, her and some of the ice ribbon girls also have Joshi pod t-shirts and uh, a few others around town have Joshi pod t-shirts. So hopefully soon guys, we'll see some Joshi pod t-shirts on, uh, uh, social media. If you see them, let me know. Cause I'm going to try to, uh, keep track of that. Cause it'd be kind of fun in, in, in for me to see and stuff. So the, they were impressed that I actually had t-shirts made and, uh, yeah, they wanted them. Everybody, everybody wanted a t-shirt. So it was pretty cool. All right, guys, let's get into the shows of the week this week that are brought to you by quiet, Wyatt designs. As always, if you need a poster, a logo, a t-shirt, a Snapchat filter, anything, please reach out to the team at quiet, Wyatt designs. Nolan, the team does such wonderful work. You can reach them at, uh, Q U I T W Y A T T one word designs on Facebook, on Twitter, that Q W D underscore official. They also have a website, Q W D official.com. Again, reach out to Nolan, the team at quiet, Wyatt designs. Whenever you need anything designed, they will do great work for you. And now they're international. All right, guys, the shows I attended this week. The first one was on the 20th, YMZ at Itabashi Green Hall. It's the first time I'd been to Itabashi Green Hall. Uh, enjoyed the venue. It's uh, configured for different amounts of, of people. There's a little bit over 100 people. On this show, they actually forced or asked everybody to wear masks. Uh, they also uh, made everybody use hand sanitizer several times when they entered the uh, the the venue. And then also at the end when the uh, merchandise uh, sales were going on, they had people... Um, making sure that they were using their masks and uh, hand sanitizer. So it was really good. Um, the standouts on this show, I think uh, Asuka, who um, I had a chance to chit chat with uh, a little bit at uh, the Dropkick Bar in Shinjuku, was uh, improving leaps and bounds. She's really bummed she's not going to get to come to the States because of the WrestleMania weekend being canceled. But uh, yeah, she's, uh, she's she stood out. Um, also, Aki won the uh, big musical chairs contest at the end of the show. So Aki's the man. Uh, he did a monkey flip over the chair and came from behind literally to win the, um, <laughs> the musical chairs, uh, contest. Uh, it was a fun show. Um, but, uh, same in the evening, the same venue, uh, Agato move had a show. They drew probably twice as many people, probably a little over 200 people. I think at that show and, uh, some of the, uh, the standouts and fun matches. Um, Antonio Honda, Rio Mizunami, and Lulu Pencil as a tag team was amazing. Uh, they came on the short end of the stick. Um, but uh, on this show, guys, go out of your way when it's uploaded to watch Chris Brooks versus Aki. Uh, they both had wrestled matches earlier in that day. Chris Brooks had wrestled at DDT, and then Aki had wrestled for YMZ earlier. But uh, these two tore it down, tore the house down. They really should. Aki, I'm, I'm probably a little biased here, but. Not really. He's he's a really talented guy. He stands out on shows when you see him wrestle. Uh, he's got a little bit of Western style combined with a uh, Japanese style, and it works really well. And he and Chris have uh, amazing chemistry. So, uh, yeah, go, to, go out of your way to uh, check that match out. Uh, the main event of this uh, show, Kayori Aniyama and Emi Sakura defeated Saki and Yuna Mizumori to win the Asia Dream Tag Team titles. Uh, I think they hit the, I think it's called the Blazing Moonsaults. I think it's what it's called where they're both on the corner at the same time, the top and Emmy does a moon salt. And then right as she lands, almost Yoniyama does a moon salt and 
barely misses kicking Emmy in the face when Emmy's trying to get out of the way, but they hit that big double team maneuver to win the titles. Uh, old school tag team together, uh, much deserving win. And, uh, it was a fun show. Uh, got to move always has fun shows with the singing and dancing and, uh, the quality wrestling. The next day on the 21st, I went to an ice ribbon show at the ice ribbon dojo. First time again, I've been to this venue as well. Uh, it's a little bit of a walk from the, um, this to train station, but it's, it's definitely worth it. Yappy gave me directions on how to get there. And, uh, she's a, she's a lifesaver in so many ways. Um, the standouts here, Suzu Suzuki. Uh, I always talk about the eye test about who passes the eye test with me. And, you know, you watch them on, on tape and you, you watch them in person. Uh, Suzu Suzuki is going to be a super duper star. Um, she's got it all. She's, uh, she's got a little bit of aggressiveness in her and, uh, she's really fun to watch. Really entertaining. I, I think, uh, we're going to see her at the top of Ice Ribbon eventually. Uh, Tekla wrestled uh, Mayukihi on the show as well. Um, Mayukihi is really, really good. Tekla is getting better and better by the day. Uh, I've watched some of her early matches online to, to now. It's uh, it's a dramatic improvement. Wrestling um, talented people like she is right now in Ice Ribbon has, uh, has helped her immensely. Uh, Tsukasa Fujimoto was amazing as well. Tsukushi, uh, Risa Sara, Yappy, they were all really great on the show. Uh, First time, like I said, I've been to the dojo, a really intimate uh, venue as well. I really love little intimate shows like that. And uh, it was uh, really cool to catch up with Yappy and catch up with Tekla. And uh, it was a whole lot of fun to go to the dojo. I suggest you guys go to the dojo if you uh, or ever uh, can make the trip over to Japan. Speaking of intimate <laughs> venues, on the 22nd, I went to Ichikaya Chocolate Square and saw Gato move. Uh, May Saruga defeated An Shamu. I'm so terrible at pronouncing An Shamu. I can't say her name. Uh, it was a whole lot of fun. I think it's already up on YouTube. Uh, the the big battle is to see who gets the most attention for the hard camera. Well, the only camera. But uh, it was a whole lot of fun. Those two are, are great. May Saruga, Suzu Suzuki. Those two are going to be uh, top of cards for a, a long time coming. Uh, Aki was also on this show. He uh, wrestled Yasu Yurano. They actually went under the mat at Ichikaya. I hadn't seen that before, but they wrestled to a 10 minute draw. Uh, it looked brutal. Those guys grappled and it looked, uh, looked tiring as all get out. Um, and then the, uh, the main event, uh, Yuna Mizumori, Mitsuru Kono and Reka defeated Masahiro Takanishi, Emi Sakura and Rin Rin. Unfortunately, I think uh, a couple days later, Masahiro broke his leg or broke his ankle and uh, he's going to be out for a bit. So we wish him a speedy recovery. Always a nice guy when you get a chance to meet him. And uh, Aki and other people have told me about how much he's helped them uh, in, in their careers to get over to Japan and uh, get bookings and, and get training. So, um, yeah, so it was a, a little, we wish him the very best. But, again, it was nice to see him at Gato Move. Then finally I went to Seedling on the 23rd. And uh, Haruka Umisaki. I wasn't super familiar with her before, uh, but I saw her wrestle. And uh, I think, again, she's going to be another one that's going to be um, going. I think she's Diana, I believe. Don't hold me to that. But uh, she's uh, going to be uh, a good one as well. Um, she was in the opener. Uh, Tehonmo is on the show. Uh, Misa Mitsuki, Mitsui, Tsukishi, Yoshi. <laughs> there was a six-man team. Um, there's a six-man team. Yoshiko, Hiroyo Matsumoto, and Rini Yamashita. Can you think of a more badass team than that? They defeated uh, Ryo Mizunami, Miyuki Takase, and Shuri. Shuri is such an entertainer now. She is so fun to watch. Um, yeah, but uh, Yoshiko and Hiroyo Matsumoto and Rina Yamashita are just destroyers. So uh, that was a real fun to watch. And then in the main event, uh, Mima Shimoda and Asuka defeated Risa Nakajima in Tsukasa Fujimoto. Asuka pinned Risa to set up a championship match down the line again good show really good show um they seem like they're gonna go really fast but by the end you know they have like a good the last two matches are a good you know 18 20 minutes and uh it turns into a real high quality show so but uh fun show uh i love shinkiba for a string there's not a 10 um a terrible seat in the house so uh yeah it's a it's a lot, a lot of fun a lot of uh fun shows i went to this week and uh, i can't wait to come back guys はい、私はブルナカノです。え、今回女子ポット聞いてくれてありがとうございました。Thank you very much. Hey guys, I want to thank you guys once again for downloading and listening to this episode of the Joshi Pod from Japan. Please follow the show on Twitter at the Joshi Pod. 
I'm also on YouTube. Uh, you can listen to the podcast there as well. Um, yeah, stay tuned for the interview with somebody from Gato Move. And next week we have Bull Nakano. Again, thank you guys for listening. Arigato gozaimasu. So uh, we're back in Ichigaya Chocolate Square, and I couldn't be more excited right now than to be sitting in front of the legendary mm. Lulu Pencil. The mightiest. Oh, <laughs> legendary mightiest. <laughs> Uh, you, gotta blame, you gotta blame, and I'm, we've got Aki here too. My my guy Aki is doing some translation for me as well today. Um, but uh, Pumi has forced uh, the the world to say the legendary Lulu pencil. <laughs> he has. So Lulu, thank you for joining the show. Uh, hello. Mm. Hello to. Uh, Hello everyone to uh, list, to listen this podcast. Yes. I'm Lulu. I'm Lulu Pencil, legendary mightiest. Yes, you, mightiest you and called legendary. Me? Oh, thank <laughs> <laughs> So I'll be in your care. <laughs> <laughs> so let me tell you one of the reasons why I even started the podcast. It, it was um, you're one of the big reasons I started to do this podcast because when I was here in September, you were so kind to me. And the the entire team at Gato Move were very nice to me and treated me so well that uh, I had to tell the world about Gato Move. And you're one of the big reasons for that because you were so kind to me after because you speak some English. So you spent some time with me and talked to me. So I, I appreciate that. And I appreciate you uh, inspiring me to do this. Okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> うん。うん。リオはガトムーブをみんなを知ってもらいたいためにやってたから、今これうまくいってるからすごい頑張ってるし、これ。すごい。先週ブルー中野さんにインタビューした。ユーインタビューとブルー中野ラスウィークあとディスウィークはい
curiosity mm -hmm. is make me strong and make me and make motivate make motivate motivate me. So. あ、あれ、全然全然。そう、いつも私はライターをするときもえっと常に好奇心に突き動かされてきてたので、その好奇心をまたプロレスに対するこう好奇心を満たすっていう意味ではすごく一つの道として私は考えています。はい。So what brought her to be a writer is the curiosity in different things. So in that sense, the her curiosity is what brought her to professional wrestling and in that sense it's her path has been the same mm. it's just she's a curious person and that put that brings her to different destinations but the path is st still mm. the it's, it's a straight path for her did you watch wrestling when you were a kid uh about for seven years yeah mm. seven or eight years w what did you watch uh at first i watched dragon gate mm. and so then uh new japan Mm-hmm. After that I la I I love Josh Pro wrestling. Yeah. Which wrestlers did you like watching when you watched before? Before? Mm Shinsuke Nakamura? Mm? Hmm? Uh, uh Shinsuke Nakamura. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> he's an artist. He's an artist. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so uh what made you I, I guess you said curiosity made you want to be a wrestler. Do your does your family think you're crazy? Does your your friends think you're crazy for trying to become a wrestler? Uh, at first they are very they were very surprised, but oh, little, 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 that's so that. <laughs> yeah, little, little, little nature. Yeah, little is a little crazy. <laughs> little is crazy. Oh, a little adventurous. They, they, I think they, they think so. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think so? Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I think we've established that Lulu is a little bit crazy. Yes, and her friends think she's a little bit crazy. Yes, but I don't think she is though. Like, mm, she's pretty. Well, I've 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 hung around with her here. I've hung around with her in London, and her general curiosity in woman power, and the right, like, you could say, the proper, like his. It when you say the feminist thing out there, it's hard. Because mm -hmm. there is like several, a lot of people. If you have a lot of people, the people are going to have different ideas on different things. Mm -hmm. That happens to everything. Same thing with uh, the feminist topic. Mm -hmm. But I think she has that very pure kind of sense mm -hmm. in women's empowerment and the kind of things they should be able to do and they sh are doing and they can do. So that kind of curiosity and that kind of, you know, like... In her sense, I've talked to her, and she said it to me once while we were walking in London with when May Chan mm -hmm. went for and she also the for show. the Eve show. Mm -hmm. uh, she told me like, if you're looking for strong woman, there's very hard. It's very hard to find a better place than Joshi Wrestling. Like in every sense, mm -hmm. they are out there. They do businesses. They have companies. They literally fight. Like that is in in like even if you go for a physical sense, they, you know, they have a public figure. They talk to people. They handle pressure of performing. They have like every kind of aspect you can think of as someone being strong. Uh, Joshi Wrestling has that. So mm -hmm. her curiosity in that, in her the kind of person she is, it's it to me it seems very natural that she ended up being a wrestler mm -hmm. in in the Joshi world. So. You're, uh, I won't say feminist, but you're you're into the you know the um, women's empowerment. Is that um, something lacking in Japan right now? Where there's uh, people, there's the I know in in America, it's still a little bit that way too, where the the women are still a little behind the men. Is it similar to that here in Japan as well, where the the women are still struggling to? To make the same level of pay and same level of everything else as as men. What uh, did I say? Ah, what kind of thing? This interest, I had, I was a little bit of a 
説明しちゃったからこんな答え来たかもしれないからごめんなさいだけどルーちゃんが日本もこんな考えように少し何か遅いですか何かアメリカも少しあるんですけど何か女性が少し男性より後ろにいるって感じこれ日本でもそんな感じいるかとか思ってますか、uh, Just in my opinion, but、uh, Japanese circumstance is worse than America, I think.、Mm-hmm. But、uh, in Japan, we have Josh Pro Wrestling.、Mm-hmm. Josh Pro Wrestling has changed the world.、Um, その日本はい、日本語です<笑>日本女性のエンパワーメントをする力が私は女子プロレスにあると思うのでそれが日本にあるっていうことはとても大きな財産だと思っているので、うん、女子プロレスで私もその世界に対してメッセージを発信していくことが最終的にはできるようになったらいいなと思ってやってるっていうことですね。So, she thinks like 女子プロレスリング has the power to change the world in that woman empowerment sense and the fact that it's in Japan Is a big statement.、Mm-hmm. And with that in mind, she also is trying to ha- send that message out and doing her best, in you know in a sense, to be a wrestler. That is one of the big things that's how and why she became a wrestler. If she could do that, that would be one of the best things she would, would like to work on and you know work her best on to convey from now on. Is、uh, Emi Sakura a good role model for you to follow? Yeah. サクラさんはおそらくあの思想としてやそういうふうに意図してやってるわけではないと思うんですけれども誰よりもそれを実践している人だと思います。はい。So she thinks of course、uh, she don't think she's doing that to be like the one who's doing it on purpose but in her in her opinion サクラさん is the best and basically like the Eponomy, how do you say that? Like the very embodiment of that message.、Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, two, two or three years ago, Darby has women's revolution.、Does. But we, so, 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 World because there was a Josie Pro Wrestling, and like that kind of world existed already. That's why they were able to come up with that and able to do that,、mm-hmm. is what Rulu thinks. I agree.、Yeah. I agree. All right, so,、uh, so you start training to be a wrestler.、Um, tell me how training was for you physically,、uh, everything, how, how, how you handled、uh, training. Like, uh, the pro wrestler to instead. 練習が始まった時私プロ wrestler, I was to come up with the wrestler, and I was to come up w i t 何か全部体とかでも全部で中に練習はどうだったの<笑>何もできなかった。<笑> I can not do anything <笑> as a wrestler. <笑> so far, but I. よくなった<笑>秋秋<笑>秋<笑> How do you think about me? What do you think about me? Improve? <笑> Yeah, you know. So, but just starting, how, how was it? Was it? Have you ever done anything this physical before? Nothing, nothing. <laughs> we fit, we fit. <laughs> we aren't n e e d i n the switch. <laughs> Just. Ah, <laughs> so, the key I've been, the car, 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 So, like what?、Uh, How muscle is, is her work? Mm-hmm. So, like the things like、uh, 
how the muscle works and how the muscle moves, how you could use them for better, or how the bones in your body work, mm -hmm. how to manipulate them in a way that is beneficial to you, or how wrestling wrestlers are training in a way to not get injured. Mm -hmm. Like uh, how to use your body and what you have to, rest, to practice in a way that doesn't let you get injured, mm -hmm. or how to not have a big injury while you're doing it all, while how to use your muscles and your body in that sense, which which was like those kind of things, they, it, she did, never thought about them, like how to, you know, how to go about them. Mm -hmm. so it was outside of her point of view or the world she existed in. Mm. <laughs> So what made her really happy about it is that she she could write about those things. Mm -hmm. Which was one of the first things she found like delightful in wrestling because of the new things, the things that she was discovering that she never knew about. She could write about them now. Mm -hmm. She have new things to be motivated about and you know, to go about on the other career she has. So that that really that really made her delightful. It's life experiences, yeah. So, um, how long did you train before you made your debut? Uh, I started t training at the Darejo, mm -hmm. uh, 20 to 2018 December. Mm -hmm. And I, I debuted at August 28th, mm -hmm. so, about eight months. Mm -hmm. <laughs> was uh, was the motivation to make your debut? Did that motivate you to like keep training harder and harder and harder? Oh, oh. motivation <laughs> デビューしませんかという話を6月、5月くらいに、か6月くらいに聞きまして、それでどれくらいトレーニングするのかわからないで、はいと言ったんですけれども、7月の頭のそのリホさんのラスト講義の時にリングに上がったら8月28日にデビ
のなんあとても弱い私そもそもよ私のイメージ弱いって大丈夫ですか<笑>そんなに強くないっていうのはもともとの私のキャラクターなのでキャラクターというか生まれついてマイネイチュー<笑><笑>なのでそれはもう自然にそうなっていったとしか<笑>言いようがないと<笑>、so, uh, The name Little Pencil was given to her by Sakura san.、Mm-hmm. She said, like, you write thin, <laughs> you look plain, straight, you write.、Mm-hmm. So somehow, somehow it turned into, okay, you are Little Pencil. <laughs> so, <laughs> but、uh, as for like Kato, if you say something like that, her very nature is that she's very weak. It's, you know. Mm-hmm. Well, she is. So <laughs> it, it just somehow, somehow ended up there. Yeah. Like <laughs> she is, that's how she naturally is. She is, you know, weak.、Mm-hmm. So <laughs> which, is, which is weird to say, I would say something like that, but、yeah. it's just naturally how she happens to be. Good. Yeah. For example, I'm going to do rope work. すごく痛いですよね痛い,痛いですけど痛い私はもうロープ飛び込むとやっぱり痛いんですけれどもでもそれはみんなプロレスラーはなぜできるかというとプロレスラーだからなんですよね、うんうん、でも本当に痛いっていうのは私を見てれば分かると思うので<笑>それはすごいあの伝,え伝えるというのも変ですけど強くなりたいんですけれども、うんまあ、それは私はやっぱりレスラーっていうのはすごいんだなっていうのは分かるんじゃないでしょうか。そうん、そうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそ They hurt. Like, they, it's, they always hurt. But people take it for granted because, oh, people can do it because they're wrestlers.、Mm-hmm. They can do it. But if you see a little pencil, you understand that, oh, oh, they hurt. <laughs> so, to, <laughs> to be able to just naturally <laughs> being able to convey that to people, like, in normally, It hurts.、Mm-hmm. Like they can just do it because they do it.、Yeah. They are wrestlers. So, in a sense, it makes people think, like, oh, okay, re- like it's they, what they're doing is something amazing.、Mm-hmm. What wrestlers are doing normally is something amazing. It's not something you can just do.、Yeah. It's, it's something that they really work at. And, you know, like it's something that hurts,、mm-hmm. but they're just doing it.、Mm-hmm. But when you see Lulu, you understand what actually happens. If you do those normal things and it's to be able to convey those things, she thinks is a very wonderful thing. Oh, it's brilliant. She's brilliant, I think. Yeah. Yeah. yeah.、Um, so you became popular really, really, really fast. I <laughs> you did. I、I'm、mean, rave, <laughs> oh, but yeah, but you were like an I follow, obviously, I follow Joshi Wrestling a lot, but you became an internet darling like almost immediately. Immediately, yes. Yeah. W- what did it feel like to know that people around the world? You just barely started, and then people around the world already know who Lulu Pencil is. She still can't believe it. Like, it's not something that just re- it doesn't register to this day. But it's not something that just it doesn't register to this day. が大好きで必要としているということが私へのこうメッセージで直に理解分かったことですね。Uh, はい、so what really made her happy is because people really love Joshi Wrestling. And that message was m- able to be spread more because of her, because people got interested in her and they got into Joshi Wrestling. That was the, one of the things that really made her happy. So, when you traveled to England and you saw the reaction people had for you in England, <laughs> how, did that, how did that make you feel? I was dreaming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were dreaming? <laughs> so, you're, I heard you like, sold out of your t shirts, you sold out of everything. <laughs> Without doing a match, too. <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. But how does it express into words? I mean, how humbling it is, or how, you, how it makes you feel to know that just so quickly, so much fun stuff happened. So, I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to go to the h o u とっても嬉しかったですしもっあ頑張らなきゃと思いました。はい。She was really happy、うん、and the first thought that came to her mind is like I gotta do better. I, I, I gotta work hard. I gotta do more stuff. Basically like 頑張れな頑張りますとか there's a word in Japanese which is which is like it can be explained in a hundred ways but it basically means I have to do my best and I have to do more more of it because people 
are like having those feeling have those gratitude for me so I have to do my best あでもそのプロレスを始めた時に私が一番大事にというかしたいことの2つで、えー、と1つがすごい世界中にプロレスっていうものが必要,必要とされている人必要としている人がいっぱいいて世界を変える力を持っているってことを、うん、に確信を持ってそれを推し進めていきたいっていうのがあったのであ私はこれからもっとがんあのど努力して。行っていいんだっていうのをすごく私の最初の目標が肯定されたような気がして本当にイギリスのファンの方には感謝しています。So when she went to England, it 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 made her for the, the there was two things that really blew her mind. But first one of the things was is that there are people out there who really support wrestling and who really you know the people who are doing wrestling they're like there are people who support and like、uh, you know How, how, how to say that?、Mm, like, they are there. It's okay to be a wrestler. It's okay to do your best and, like, really put what you want out there. To,、uh, like, they, it's, there are people still out there who, like, she can send the message of Joshi Pro Wrestling out there too.、Mm-hmm. There are people like that exist out there that really made that, like, the message came home. To her when she went to England.、Mm-hmm. Like, it's that, like, it can be done. And th- th- this is like she can do something. She can work her best at that. It's okay to be a wrestler. What she wants to do, she can do in wrestling.、Mm-hmm. That, that message really came home, which just blew her mind. So, the Eve wrestling crowd is very different than a Japanese wrestling crowd.、Mm-hmm. What was it like to perform in front of a, a, a wild little、uh, That building is pretty cool, too. What was it like to、uh, wrestle in front of that crowd in that building? でも一概に似てませんか<笑>、はい yeah. She thinks like it kinda is like it's a it kinda reminds or like a bit similar to Ichigaya in a way.、Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because it's just like、yes. top, yeah. Yeah. everybody's on yeah, top yeah, of you. Yeah, yeah. So w- how did it feel to perform in front of other people that, other than Japanese people? Yeah, I got no, ここでそんなお客さんの前にそんな会場とか、まあ、一概で似てても人が別ですよね、何かリアクションとかがやり方とか、何で盛り上がるとか、これ別だったんですから、これ、どんな気分だったやったとき、どんな感じすごい、皆さん、見たいものがはっきりしているというか、はい、期,待期待をもう直接的に感じます、こんな、あルルが来た、メイさんが来た、じゃあ、俺たちはこんなレスリングを今から見れるんだっていう、すごい具体的な期待を、すごい。その声援とかその歌声から皆さんの歌声から感じてその意味ではそのプロレスをやるっていうことがすごく貴重な機会なんだなっていうのは思いました。So the people are very direct about what they want. So like they react, they, they show what they want, they cheer for what they want, like what they like, they also cheer. So it's like Lulu came, ah,、oh, like make him. So now we're gonna see that, that kind of wrestling. Mm-hmm. They understood that and they chanted for that. They reacted for that. They, you know, like they knew what they wanted and they were go for it.、Mm-hmm. That kind of audience. So,、uh, performing for that kind of audience. I was going to say, I'm 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 going to How to say that? It's very different from Japan, as the Japanese audience is someone who s i t back and l e t things come and then react、mm-hmm. instead of being the forefront of asking for things.、Mm-hmm. So, in that, it's very, it's the, basically the direct opposite of that kind of place. But it's、uh, in a way very rewarding as a wrestler because you know, your performance is, gets an honest and fast opinion of the. The people you are performing for. 多分東京だとすごくたくさんのプロレスの試合やってるので、うん、いつも見てるお客さんっていうのはたくさんいてじゃあ今日はどんな新しいことを見れるんだろうっていうのは常にあると思うんですけれどもそれ以上にやっぱりあ今日はやっとプロレスの試合があの選手の試合が見れるっていうのってすごくすごいありがたいありがたいというか、ま、待ち望んでいたこの試合が今日やっと見れるっていう気持ちっていうのはすごい。東京にいたらもしかしたら忘れちゃうようなかもしれないような気持ちだなとは思いました。So because there's so much wrestling in Tokyo and most of the fans that come to wrestling are they have seen a lot of wrestling. They, they are someone who watches wrestling and there's tons of wrestling out there.、Mm-hmm. So 
the feeling of watching someone that you wanted to watch and you couldn't watch and you are finally watching it mm-hmm. that really went home for her when she performed there mm. that like it it might not be the case but it you could forget that feeling if you're in Tokyo because it's just it's always present for you mm-hmm. whenever you want you can get it mm-hmm. but it it wasn't the case when she was there and which really like really delighted her すごい東京は恵まれた環境だなっていうのを感じましたよ、ファンにとっても。あと、最初に感じたことは、わお、ルル、イズ、リアリー、エグゼスティング。イッツ、ノット、イマジネーション。イッツ、ノット、フィクション。そう、デスクライブ、ルル、ペンシルズ、ファイティングスタイル。Tell me about her fighting style. 説明できるか。いや、何か。Tell, no, tell us what your fighting style is. どうしても頑張るじゃないんですか必死、あの必死。あ<笑>あ、uh,。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。All the time? All the time! <laughs> really? Of course! You <laughs> <laughs> saw her came back from, the, from practice. You saw her, like everybody yeah. else came. She yeah. came. Yeah, she was, <laughs> she was about to die. <laughs> <laughs> That's how she was going to practice. Is, is it fun being Lulu Pencil? Yeah. Well, mm. What's the most fun thing about being Lulu Pencil? What's the most fun thing? どれほど私が苦しんでいても、後から写真を見返すと、私がやられているときにお客さんが笑顔なのが、とても<笑><笑>みんなひどいと思いつつ、あすごいプロレスラーって、こんなに人を笑顔にできるんだっていうのは思いました。<笑>これは面白い。ああ、She thinks like, oh, t h e r could be like, no matter how hard it is for her, like how much she is suffering, and it's like the pain is right there. When she, watches, when she looks at the pictures afterwards, everybody is smiling in the、uh-huh. audience. Yeah. <laughs> Which kind of makes her think everybody is horrible. <laughs> <laughs> so、We're... that part really、like、gave her the perspective of a wrestler, what her life as a wrestler is. <laughs> Which, which could be,、like、you could say, the unique part about being <laughs> l- Lulu Pencil. Um... Okay, so、I've, I'm asking everybody these, these questions. What's it、uh, like to be part of the team here at Gato Move? It's like a sisterhood, like a family.、Mm. Tell me about how special that is for, for you to be part of something special like this. はい。やっていけてるっていう意味ではガトームーブのそのつながりっていうのはファ,ファミリーかどうかわからないですけれども他には他にはあるのかなないのかな<笑>でも特別な私にとっても特別なものですしその女性女の子同士で助け合えるっていうのは本当に実感していますなんか曖昧な感じちょっとちょっと整理させてあなんとかあ、uh, she thinks uh, uh... It could be like everybody, all the seniors, but Sakura san is sometimes scary. But other than, that, <laughs> other than that, everybody is very kind and very nice and, you know,、uh, very, how should I say that, supporting in a way. So there's like five rookies right now that trains with her,、mm-hmm. so, which is like a very rare thing, a very special thing. So,、uh, As a group, they can you know, support each other. They can, like all the things、uh, you would guess from being like, th- there's a word called nakama in、uh, Japanese, which means like 
your companions. So she doesn't know specifically if it's like a family or not, but the feeling that you have that there's like there's a group of girls that are there to support you and to have your back and to support like to really be there for you is she really feels that it uh, she she's not sure if it's exists everywhere or it's it, like something like this could be found everywhere but to her it's very special and i don't she doesn't really think it, it's it's not an easy thing to have or to find some place to be like this mm. Good, good, good. はい、女の子同士ですごいねドロドロしてるとかよく日本では言われるんですけれども、うん、そういうのって多分ほん単なるステレ,、うん、ステレオタイプでしかないっていうのはガトムーブでプロレスをやれてることですごく感じることができます。はい、so it's easy to be called like if a lot of girls get together there's gonna be like you know like、uh, jealousies and dramas and all that.、うん But in Japan, it's called out a lot. But、uh, sh- when she came to be in Gato Move and became a part of this group,、uh, it almost feels like it's just a stereotype. She could really feel it, that it's just a stereotype,、mm. like because there's nothing like it here. I think Sakura is not the same way to do it. I think it's a very good thing to do it. I think it's a very good thing to do it. やって私たちに優しくしているどうのでさっきのフォローじゃないですけど<笑>っていうのでそういう意味でガトムーが特別な場所になってるっていうのは多分さくらさんのはいおかげなのかなっていう。はい。See things what what Sakura さん puts out and what kind of atmosphere created and what kind how she has come brought them up and the people she brought up are like the the it just the flow is going from up to down、uh, could be one of the reasons like why it is the which like she is very Kind in that sense, which doesn't go what she said before, like she's scary, <laughs> but like that thing that she just it could be because what she created is special, that these special things exist. It could be because Sakura san created it in that so, sense. You're full of curiosity, you're full of adventure. What long term life goals do you have as Lulu Pencil or just as, as, as a human being? What kind of lifelong goals do you have for yourself to, to help spre- spread that message and, and become、uh, maybe a leader in, in female empowerment? What do we saw? That's a tough question. What do you think about your own goal? What do you think about your own goal? もしかしかたら自分ことだけの言った方が一番いいんじゃないですかでもいつかまとまった文章を書いてそのプロレスを見ない人にも伝わるようなそれこそ全ての女性,女性だけじゃなくて、うんはい、こ,れこ,れこれだけ女子プロレスが世界を変えることができてたくさんの女性を力づけることができるっていうことをこう一つの本なり何なりで書いて伝えたいっていうことと私自身がその、ま、見ている人を力づけられるような。Like, she wants to someday be able to write what she experienced here, the, all the things that she experienced, and get that message out to not just females, but everybody, all the people who can't or doesn't, even the people who don't watch wrestling, to be able to get that message to even to them that Joshi Pro Wrestling has the power and is changing the world. For spe- more, like, especially for women everywhere, is that if she could ever be a wrestler that able to convey that to the everyone, not just women, but literally everyone, even to those people who can't even, who d o e s n t even see wrestling,、mm-hmm. in, if she writes about it and able to convey that message, that that would be something that she likes to achieve. Excellent. Well, Lulu, thank you so much for your time. I、uh, sincerely appreciate you doing this interview with me.、Mm-hmm. Again, you're my inspiration, one of my inspirations to do this podcast. I'm very thankful that the three of us got to sit together、mm-hmm. here and, and do this today. Thank you for,、uh, I'm, and I have to apologize, I'm not good interviewee. <laughs> oh, you're great. No, you were wonderful. How was my interview skills? Great. <laughs> <laughs> great, very great. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. Welcome to Japan. Enjoy your stay in Japan. How long are yours? <laughs> Just a couple more days. Okay. Yeah.
Maybe if they let me go home, <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, thank you, and uh, thank you, Lulu. Thank you, Aki. No problem. Thank you. See you in Ichigaya. Bye.